Hello. In this tutorial I'll try to present the meta shape operator and the volume position operator. Keep in mind that thinking particles does not have a fluid dynamics solver, so if you want to simulate realistic fluids try real flow instead. Okay. First we have to create a glass to hold the water. Go to splines and select line. Draw half of the glass in the front viewport. Do not close the spline. Go to the Modify panel. From the modifier drop down list choose Lathe. This will convert the section of the glass into a 3D object. Deselect Cap Start and Cap End. In the Align group choose Minimum. Enable Weld Core and Flip Normals if needed. Increase the number of segments. Right click in the modifiers list and choose collapse all. If a dialog appears click yes. Rename the mesh you have just created to glass. Scale the glass to take the shape you want. If you want you can center the pivot to the object. Create a cylinder in the scene. This will be the source of particles. We only need the bottom faces so we have to delete the other faces. Raise it above the glass and rotate it a bit. Rename the object to source. Now the scene is set up, and we can add the particle system. Select the Create tab. From the Geometry drop-down list choose Particle Systems. Add a thinking particle system to the scene. Click on Properties to open the Thinking Particles user interface. Create a particles group and name it Water. Create a dynamic set and name it Create Water. From the Operators drop-down list choose Generator. Add a Matter Waves operator to the set. From the Groups drop-down list choose Water. Enable particles per second and leave it to 100 for now. Increase the lifespan to 10 seconds. This means the particles will live 250 frames. Click Pick Object Based Emitter, and select the source object from the scene. Close the Thinking Particles UI. The particles are a bit slow. Open the Thinking Particles UI, select the Master Dynamic and disable Edit on the fly. Now you can see the changes as they happen. Select the Matter Waves Operator. Increase the speed to 20. We also have to increase the animation time of a scene. Increase the animation time to 200 frames. From the space warps add a gravity force to the scene. Bind the gravity space warp to the thinking particles system. Open the thinking particles user interface. Select the master dynamic and create a new dynamic set. Rename it to forces. From the operators drop down list choose initiator. Add AP Pass Operator to the set. From the group drop-down list choose Water. From the Operator's drop-down list choose Dynamics. Add a Standard Force Operator to the set. Link it to the Water Particles group. Select the Gravity Force from the list and click Activate. Now the Water Particles will be affected by the Gravity Force. Select the Gravity Space Warp. Set the strength to 0.5. Drag the time slider to test the animation. 
Now we have to handle the collision between the particles and the glass. Open the thinking particles UI. From the operators drop down list choose dynamics. Add a U deflector operator to the forces set. Link it to the water particles group. From the helpers, add a helper node to the set. Link it also to the U deflector operator. Click the pick node button and select the glass object from the scene. Drag the time slider to see the changes. As you see, the particles are bouncing out from the glass. Open the thinking particles UI, and select the U deflector operator. Set the bounce value to 0.5. Now all is fine. We have to adjust a few settings to make it look better. Set the surface to 30. This will make the particles to stick to the surface of the colliding object. At this value some particles pass through the glass. Set it to 20. Set friction to 3. This will decrease a bit the particle speed on collision. From the collision group, choose collision offset, particle size. Now we have to change the particle's size. Select the matter waves operators. Set the size value to 3. Increase the speed also to 25. We want the particles emitter to stop before the end of the animation. Go to helpers. Add a timer and helper to the set. Right click the inputs of the matter waves operator and enable on input. Link it to the out of the timer and helper. Select the timer and set the frames value to 160. The timer will stop the matter waves operator after 160 frames. As you can see nothing happens in the scene. We have to start the timer. From conditions add an always true condition to the set. Link it to the timer start input. Now the timer stops the emitter after 160 frames. Because the inter-particle collision is not handled, the particles will never fill the glass. To fill it we have to cheat. Select the water particles group and create a child group. Name it fill water. Set the water group color to blue, and the fill water group to red, so we can see them better. Select the master dynamic, and create a new dynamic set. Name it fill glass. From the operator's drop down list choose initiator. Add AP pass operator to the set. From the group drop down list choose fill water. Select the forces dynamic group. From the operator's drop down list choose standard. Add a group operator to the set. Link it to the water particles. Enable the on input. Link it to the collision output of the U deflector operator. From the group drop down list choose fill water. This will pass the colliding particles from the water group to the fill water group. As you see, the blue particles turn to red on collision. Now we have to create a volume that will grow until the end of the animation. From standard primitives, create a cylinder to the scene. Make it about the size of the glass. Convert it to editable poly. Adjust the vertices to follow the shape of the glass. From the modifier list choose freeform deformer.
enable auto key, and animate the FFD modifier. Drag the maximum size keyframe to round frame 160, and the minimum size to the start of the animation. Name the object Fill Volume. Increase the size of the glass, so the Fill Volume object will be inside the glass. Open Thinking Particles User Interface. Select the Fill Glass Dynamic Set. From the Standard Operators, Add a position operator to the set. Link it to the fill water group. Go to helpers. Add a node helper to the set. Click the pick node button and select the fill volume object. From the helpers drop down list choose position. Add a volume position to the set. Link it to the node helper. Link the position output of the volume position to the position input of the position operator. Select the volume position helper. Set the thickness value to 10. Very important. Enable modifier tracking. As you can see, some particles escape from the glass. This is because the fill volume object intersects with a glass. If we move the glass a little lower, the problem is solved. Now we can hide the fill volume object. Now we have to make the water particles to look like water. Open the Thinking Particles user interface. From the Operators drop-down list choose Shape. Add a Meta Shape operator to the Create Water set. Link the Born Particles to the Particles input of the Meta Shape operator. Set the Size value to 2. Set the tension value to 2. Set evaluation coarseness to 4. Select the matter waves operator and increase the number of particles per second. You can play with these settings to get a better result. The quality you can get depends on your system configuration. Higher processing power and memory, better results. The mesh is applied to both particle groups, because the fill water particles is a subgroup of the water particles. Now create two materials for the glass and water. Drag the water material to the meta shape material slot. Drag the glass material to the glass object in the scene. Set the scene and render. As you see, is not the best solution to create water. You should use instead real flow, or some other fluid dynamic software. This is all for now.
you can always check the Thinking Particles help manual to better understand the nodes used in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Visit www.community.ro for more tutorials.